Hello and welcome to this podcast on medical tax credits. This is part two. Part one, you need to also go look at, discusses different portions of the medical tax credit. So let's get started. So this portion of the medical tax credit discusses when a person is 65 years or older or if a person is younger than 65 but the taxpayer or an immediate family member has a disability. Remember, in part one, we looked at younger than 65 years of age with no person having a disability. There's still two types of tax credits. There's a medical schemes fees tax credit, and then there's an additional medical expense tax credit. The medical schemes fees tax credit is calculated exactly the same in part two as it was in part one. So we'll look at that again just to recap. The additional medical expense tax credit, however, is calculated a little bit different. So you take your medical aid contributions, both the employer and the employee. From that, you deduct three times the medical schemes fees tax credit, which was calculated in part A. That equals the excess. Now remember, your excess can never be less than zero. It will always be a positive figure because the word says it, excess. To that, you're going to add your other qualifying expenses, which you're going to either multiply with 33.3% or you're going to divide it by a factor of 3. So let's go do an example quickly. Rose is 42 years old and married, so she's younger than 65. Her husband and her son are dependents on a medical aid fund and her husband has a disability as defined. So in other words, she would get this rebate and not the first rebate that we did in part one. Her taxable income amounted to 328,000 Rand and her normal tax is correctly calculated as 72923. So they already did the normal calculation, normal tax calculation for us. Her employer contributed 5,000 Rand to the medical aid fund for the full year, so it's her employer's contribution. And then she also made the following payments, her medical aid contributions, plus qualifying medical expenses paid and not refunded by the medical aid. And then they ask us to calculate her medical tax credits for the current year of assessment. So to start off, we need to go and calculate the medical schemes fees tax credits, part A of it. Now remember, this is a fixed amount, and it's 270 Rand for the first two people on the medical aid, they're after 181. So you will see it's 270 for her, 270 for her husband, and 181 for her child. You will see it comes to four, 721 Rand per month. Because they contributed to the medical aid fund for 12 months, you're going to go and multiply it with 12, and this is deducted as a rebate. Now remember, a rebate is a deduction against your normal tax. It's not a deduction in your taxable income. So if you put it into perspective, you will see you take your taxable income. From that, you calculate your normal tax. Refer to the podcast on how to calculate your tax per tax tables. And then usually after that, you would go and deduct your age rebates. I haven't done that because it was not the purpose of this podcast then you will see then you go and deduct your medical schemes fees tax credit which we just calculated as in the previous slide okay so part two is you need to go and calculate the additional medical expense tax credit now we just looked at it the first thing that you need to go do is you need to go and calculate the excess contributions remember your excess is always a positive figure and it can never be a negative figure so it's calculated by taking the employee's contributions plus the employee's contributions to the medical aid fund, less three times your medical schemes fees tax credit. And that's your first difference between part one medical tax credits and this medical tax credit. So in part one, where a person is younger than 65 and no person has a disability, you deduct four times your medical schemes fees tax credit. However, in this one, where a person is either older than 65 or younger than 65 and a person has a disability, you deduct three times your medical schemes fees tax credit to go and calculate your excess. So let's go do that. Take your employee contribution of 20,000 plus your employer's contribution of 5,000, add them to de- together, then deduct three times your medical schemes fees tax credit, which was 8652, which we calculated in part A of this calculation. So now you will see your excess is zero. The reason is because your excess can never be a negative. Your excess must always be positive. So because the three times medical schemes fees tax credit against your contributions is greater than your contributions, your excess will be zero. 
The next step is to go and add your other qualifying expenses to the excess. That's pretty easy. Because our excess is zero, we just go and add the other qualifying expenses, which is 30,000 Rand. Okay, so step two, done. Step three is you need to go multiply with the inclusion. You will see this is a little bit easier than part one medical tax credit because the part one medical tax credits, you need to, needed to go and apply a limitation, which sometimes is a little bit confusing. But this one is quite easy. You just take your excess plus your other qualifying expenses and you multiply it with 33.3% or you divide it by three and that equals your additional medical expense tax credit. So you will see we took our excess plus our other qualifying expenses, which is 30,000 Rand, and we multiply with inclusion rate of 33.3% so you will see we have an additional medical expense tax credit of 9,990. I hope this podcast helps you to understand uh, the second type of medical tax credit you can get if a person is either 65 years or older or younger than 65 but either the taxpayer or the dependents of the taxpayer has a disability as defined. Bye-bye.